Hey guys, uh, we're going to show you how to reset a hydraulic timing belt tensioner. Uh, this is actually from an H22A, but it would be the same for the H22. So if you have the Prelude engine, probably going to work on all of your uh, H series that are in Accords as well. Uh, so we're going to go through that really quickly here. So what you'll notice is that there's an 8 millimeter nut on the back here. It's actually got a little bit of a marking to index it so that you know when it's actually tight enough. Uh, we're going to remove that nut, or bolt technically, uh, and then we're going to be careful not to turn this thing upside down like that because it does have oil in it. You don't want to drain that oil out. So I've already broken it loose with my 8 millimeter ratcheting wrench. They're taking that out. That's where the oil is. There is also a flat head uh, threaded rod in there that we're going to use to turn. And what we'll, that will do is retract the piston back in. And then we're going to have to simultaneously then put that keeper over the top. So I'm going to need two hands for this. So I'm going to have someone else hold my camera. Uh, when we put the retainer on, we want to be sure that we actually put it on the front of the uh, tensioner rather than having this inverted and then putting it on because now that would end up being up against the mating surface to the block, which makes it impossible to remove. So again, what we're going to do is flip that. We've got long ear to the right side and then this is going to go over the top. Once I remove that nut again, I'm going to just line that in, drop it over the top. Got the keeper over top of the plunger and in flathead in the center there. We just turn it to the right, keep turning. You'll feel lots of tension brewing because you're going against a spring. Walk that over the edge. And once you're there, you can just release that. Now we've got it locked in place. On goes my cap nut. We're now ready to reinstall this onto the engine. So we've got that tensioner now installed back in. We're just going to start walking the belt up and over it. Just as an aside, the tensioner is nice and loose down here because we've got that bracket on it. But you're going to want to make sure that this bolt right here is also loose because otherwise you cannot walk that belt up to the top sprockets. All right, so we've got our timing mark lined up down here. Our tensioner's still there. Not time to release it yet. And when we go up to the top, you can see that we've got the two horizontal marks on the cam sprockets lined up. Tension looks good, but it's not right yet. And this is the mistake that oftentimes gets overlooked or a uh, little detail. So uh, hold on for just one more second. All right, so in order to tension the belt properly, we want to take up the slack on this side because there is nothing else to apply tension between that exhaust cam and the crank until you come around to the other side and get to the tensioner. So this is what the tensioner is levering on. So we need to actually tug a bit on this side to get the tension taken up here and put that slack onto that side so the tensioner will actually pull the tension or that slack out of the belt. So the way to do that, walk back three cam teeth. This is what the manual says. So we're just gonna crank her back three, then do a release, and then we should have proper tension on this belt. All right, so we've used the ratchet, just crank back a little bit. If we go back up to our horizontal key marks, you can see that we are now up here, down there. So we've gone about three teeth over. And if we look at tension on the long side of the belt, it's got plenty of tension with very little deflection. That's what you're looking for before you pull the plug there or pull out that bracket. Yeah. All right, so we've got a little tension. We've actually uh, thrown a socket onto the crank bolt and actually just worked the engine around. And you can see, again, you get minimal deflection from there. And that's literally how you reset that tensioner and get your timing belt back on and make sure that you get the proper tension back into that belt. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave comments below.